Welcome. This is my 2024 Kia Sportage Hybrid. And today we'll discuss extra lights and sounds. Since this is the SX Prestige trim line, it's supposed to be the top of the line for the Kia Sportage. Yet, it doesn't come with an auto dimming home link rear view mirror. If you want that, that's separate. That's 300 something dollars extra plus installation. Shame on you, Kia. But my biggest gripe is the sound system in here. This comes with the HK audio system. And although I don't have a problem with the speakers themselves, as many of you owners know, this car lacks bass. I'm not sure why Kia couldn't just add two subwoofers underneath the two front seats like the other vehicles they have. Instead, they put this little rinky-dink subwoofer right in the panel here. I want something with a little more oomph and without breaking the bank and without sacrificing cargo space. So I did my research and opted for this. The Servan Vega powered subwoofer. This fits inside the spare wheel well with room to spare. It does an excellent job of supplying that needed base to work hand in hand with the HK system. This was professionally installed. They tapped into the amplifier underneath the passenger seat. Here's a small amplifier that's underneath the passenger front seat. So they tapped into the speaker front speaker doors where it gets connected to the amp here to power this on they didn't have to run cables all the way to the front where the terminal is but instead they tapped into the towing harness that's right underneath this compartment with this subwoofer there's no need for a separate amplifier this comes built in so when you go to purchase this this is the active version not the passive version I had to turn the spare wheel upside down so that the subwoofer fits right inside all in all I think it does a great job of complementing the HK system in here it's not going to turn any heads or win any competitions but you definitely hear the difference that much needed bass is finally there. It makes this car a lot more enjoyable when listening to music. Continuing on, we come to this. Electric air horns. One on each side. This car had pretty decent horns to begin with but I just like to be loud. I chose this brand and type of air horn because they served me well in past vehicles. They're nice and loud, compact, and most importantly, these are the winter version. These are Marco Tornado electric air horns made in Italy and these are the winter versions which means these will outlast other electric air horns during the winter months because temperatures will get below freezing and then ruin the internals of the air horns themselves. These are a little more expensive than regular air horns, but that's because they use better quality materials so they can last longer, especially during the winter months. For the passenger side, I bought this 
metal bracket from Home Depot and connected it there and then reattached it here for the air horn itself on the driver's side here's another bracket which in turn gets installed here for the air horn here's a little demonstration These air horns work in conjunction with the stock horns. The stock horns are placed right behind the grill here on each side. If you want to install these yourself, check out my other video showing you how I remove this bumper so you could tap into those stock horns. Now let's talk about lights. I added some floorboard lights. I found a spot where I could either stick on or tie wrap them or both. In the front, and in the rear. Of course, this looks a lot better at night. I will show you what this looks like when it gets dark it looks real cool in here next we come to this so the Kia Sportage seats come with the USB-C ports on each side I want them to function as ambient lighting for the passengers back here when not in use. So I came up with this. What this is, is a USB LED that faces down. This is a button here which allows it to change colors. And this only works in the dark because there's a light sensor. But having it attached directly to the chair meant that it would just glare LED onto the people's faces or up in the air. It just wasn't right. So I had to come up with some adapters to angle it downwards. So here is a USB-C extender which is needed because this alone cannot fit in the chair because of the way it's angled. So you have to extend it. Then this is a right angle USB-C adapter that's connected to another right angle USB-C to USB-A adapter. And then this gets connected here. So then this is your final result. This gets attached to the chair and then the light shines downwards and gives it a nice ambient lighting, ambient glow for the passengers. I can't wait to show you what this looks like at night. I think it came out pretty good. If someone does have a device that needs to get charged, no problem. You could always remove it and use the port as intended. Otherwise, when not in use, you get some ambient lighting. Next up are these LED cup holders to add to the ambient lighting. Here are two different kinds. I like this one because it's very bright. But I like this one because it lasts longer. It's up to you which one you would like. I place them inside the cup holders and gives it a nice ambient lighting from there. Next we come to the LED front grill. 
I have three LED strips attached inside the grill. And at nighttime, it's really a sight to see, especially with the automatic lures. These are LED strips made for motorcycles. So they're waterproof, heat resistant, weatherproof. They work excellent for the outdoors. I have a fourth LED strip attached right in the center there to give the engine bay a little color. Inside there is the controller which I then tapped into the fuse box here using a micro 2 fuse tap and that one's connected to the spare fuse right there at 7.5 amps. This fuse turns on and off with the car. And then everything is wired up to this power cutoff switch. In case I don't want the LEDs on at all, um, instead of having to unplug everything, I could just flip the switch there and it cuts power to the LEDs. You can control the LEDs with this change colors, intensity. You could also turn them on and off with the remote if you want. There's so many Kia Sportages out there in the world. This is just a few ways I make mine look unique and different. Something that I like and enjoy. So here we are. It's finally dark out and this looks awesome. What do you guys think? This come out cool or what? Besides the glowing grill, I have that center LED inside the engine bay. This is what it looks like. Here's a good view of the automatic louvers under the glow. And here's what it looks like with the DRLs only. And here it is fully lit up. Headlights, fog lights, DRLs, and the glowing grill. Here's some extra lights, or I should say replacement lights for the rear. For some reason, they still came with the old-fashioned light bulbs that were kind of yellowish-white. I changed them to these LEDs instead. They're white white and they're bright. Makes the car look modern like the way it's supposed to be. These are just normal 194 bulbs. You could get them anywhere. All you need to do is get a pry tool, start prying from this corner here so that the, this end pops out and then the whole housing comes out. I'll pop this one out so you can see. That back end here twists off. I'm not sure if I could do it one-handed. And this is with the clear housing off. There's the bulb itself. It's only a 194 wedge bulb. A 
that's it. Here we are inside the car, and this is the ambient lighting in the rear. So we have the footwell LEDs lighting up the place really nicely. And then these are those USB LEDs that I mentioned with the adapter. Shine the light downwards. This is the color scheme I chose, but you could choose whatever color you like. And up front where we have the LED footwells. Now we have the LED cup holders lighting up as well to complete the whole look of this ambient lighting. Here's from a different angle. Here's a sneak peek of an upcoming video I will post soon of LEDs inside the vents themselves. If you want to see what I did to achieve that look, stay tuned to the channel. I'll give you a how-to video next. So if you like this, let me know. I sure like the way this came out. I hope you enjoyed this video with all these extra lights and sounds. And be sure to watch my next video. Thanks for watching.